Yeah. Yeah. We've got a lot of stuff we need to get covered, so let's go ahead and get started. I think here comes Caitlin. Yeah. Okay. So we're only going to be here for a couple minutes before we head down to the trail and walk together as a group. Um, we have a new docent here with us today to introduce. This is Dick Oberst, who's one of our experienced docents and leads a lot of nature trail hikes and a lot of bison and loops. And here to join us today. And his wife is also a docent, Jackie, and no Jackie? <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, excellent. Which which kind of leads me to the second point. We haven't hit the first point yet, but we will. The the second point is that there are a lot of mentors here. And one of the best ways and fastest ways to learn is to kind of align yourself with somebody who you feel comfortable with and get to know them and they get to know you and and, and, and and I mean the existing docents, and that's why they're here. I'm, I'm assuming you guys are here because you want to share what you know with everybody else, and and it, it's a, a wonderful way to feel comfortable with your role here. And so get to know somebody and, and kind of align yourself with them. Going back to point number one, religion and politics, <laughs> you can probably guess. We try to keep away from those here. Those are two things that we leave at the gate, um, especially in front of kids. If you want to have a private conversation with another docent about that, that's, that's up to you. But keep, try to keep your personal views and feelings about those two topics away from the kids. Um, that's just something that we've, we've had to enforce on that. And you can probably guess why, because there's differing points of view on that. When you have a group like this together, there's always going to be differing points of view. And so to avoid contention, we just don't even bring it up. The same kind of rules that apply to classroom teachers. You know, they're not allowed to do uh, religion and politics in the theater show. Um, Sign-ups, we will... From here on, you we're, we're done with docent training after today, and I'm going to try to keep the group together during our hike. That's one thing that I'm going to be working on, <laughs> working really hard on <laughs> to keep the group together. Uh, but if you happen to leave before I get done, uh, realize that from here on, for the spring and for the summer, it's kind of up to you to take a look at, at what's available. We've got a bunch of nature trail Haley's back there. We've got a bunch of nature trail hikes. And the first one is at the end of this month, I think. Actually, beginning of April. OK. We have uh, Mash in the Middle on our calendar. OK, Mash in the Middle is what, OK. And let me go ahead and, and mention what that is. The, and actually, it's Mashed in the Middle. I've been saying it wrong. Mashed in the Middle refers to microbrewery beer brewing. And we have, uh, there is an event at the Manhattan City Park Pavilion <coughs> on March 24th, which is a microbrewery festival, in which microbrewers have been invited to bring in their wares, and people attend and pay $25, and they get a, a commemorative glass, and they use that for tasting the beer. And so a portion of the proceeds from the sale of those tickets <coughs> goes to the Friends of Cons of Prairie. Mm, yeah. And so Spread the news. We'll, be, we'll, be, we'll be there working, and, and we'll have volunteers there working. And, and that is the fastest sign up for volunteers I've ever had in the history <laughs> of anything at Key. Was, people were saying, I'll do it. Uh, I didn't even have to ask anyone. So that's why you haven't been noticing a call for volunteers, because People were knocking me over to sign up for that. <laughs> I'm not a beer drinker. I don't get it. But anyway. Um, so March 24th, if you are a beer drinker, come on out to Mashed in the Middle. It is from, I'm sure Buzz is, from 3 p.m. <laughs> no. No, they're going to have wine in the distilleries, too, though. So are they? Are <laughs> I'm not a big drinker. I, just, I, I get migraines and it's a trigger. So I just, I can't. Pain, you know, is a really good deterrent for that kind of thing. Um, 
Where was I? <laughs> the time from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. on Saturday, March 24th, mashed in the middle. Okay. So sign-ups. We have the the new the new sign-ups. We just got it yesterday afternoon at believe it or not at like three o'clock. And so we really haven't had a chance to go through it and, and play with it. But there will be a new link on the Keep website, and I will send out an email to everybody. Docent trainees, you are now going to be on the email list. You will be receiving the emails telling you of things coming up. Of, uh, a lot of times I will send out emails with information, um, with new fact sheets as they are developed. So the email is really how we contact you. And so I will be letting you know when the signups are a link, and it will probably be early next week because it's ready to go. We just need to implement it. And so all you need to do is take a look at the calendar and the list of activities and sign up as observers. Okay. And it will also list the people who have signed up. And hopefully today, if we get everybody to put their name tags on. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking at, I'm looking at, I'm looking at, okay, Earl's got his, I'm looking at Ken. But you guys know Ken, right? That's Ken. It's really helpful though to get to know who people are so you can kind of relate. Right. And will you, you have also an email uh, list for the each year updated for all the doses that okay. you get asked? So that, that is one of the new aspects of this new site is you get to see the list of docents and you get to see their contact yeah. information. So if you want... It, it, I hope nobody's in the witness protection program because you're going to see everybody. And if you don't, other than bonus, if you don't, if you don't want to be on the list, if you don't want to be on the contact list, just let me know, and I'll take you off the public contact list. Next, next generation science standards. As I mentioned yesterday, I have these little packets of the next generation science standards, which help especially during nature trail hikes, if you're looking for direction for how to target the information available to that audience of that day. And I don't have enough for all of the new docents, but I thought I would ask if there's people, new docents, who can see themselves leading nature trail hikes, I can get these to you today. So if you think you want to do nature trail hikes, raise your hand. You mean between now and August or something? At all, because there's there's some you know if there's there's some people practice with them. Oh yeah, sure. I mean, I'm gonna do some. We'll make more later. I'll make more later. This is this is. If you need help, I'll call me. Who said that? Oh. These these take a lot of work. I'm just not green. Oh, <laughs> I will. I would love that. Yeah. She's just accepted. <laughs> yes, I just accepted. Okay. I'll take one if there's not. Okay, I'm gonna give one to Chris. Okay. Has to ask her. You have a laminator here. We have the laminator here. It just, it's just a lot of. I love this part. Oh, honey. <laughs> it's just a lot of busy work, and I'm just going. Oh, you know. I would love for that for you to help. And plus you get credit, dose and credit for doing that. Oh. Even better. You're like, ooh, dose and credit. You get a gold star on your name. Oh. Yes, you can bring your name tag. Okay. Next, Bob Adayam. Uh, you may have heard of him. He was a, I think he's still alive, a Senegalese conservationist. But he had this, this mm -hmm. wonderful quote that really provides the inspiration for this entire program. And that is, in the end, we will conserve only what we love, we will love only what we understand, and we will understand only what we are taught. So that's what our job is. And it's, it's, it's kind of backwards from what he said. Our job is to get our audience to see. You will be, if you've not done this before, You'll be really surprised how often people don't see things until you point them out. And then if you teach them what to look for, suddenly they see them everywhere. It's like it's the proverbial lifting of the veil. Round head. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. Right. Plus one reason. 
Brush clover. Yes. Brush clover. You, you suddenly see it. Every, and that was a perfect example. You didn't see it until we pointed it out. That happens with just about every single visitor that comes out here. I've had a lot of kids uh, dig up must thistle and they hate it. And they spot it everywhere they look. If they got, <laughs> if they got a personal experience, then they will bring it to you and they will share it with the group and, and let them do that. Let them do that because then they are now, they, they now have like an ownership, they've been enabled. That's a good thing. So once they see, they can appreciate. Once they appreciate, they start to understand. And then this is the next one. Once they understand, they start to care. So if we can get through these steps, then we've done our job. Okay? All right, let's go get them. <clears throat>